Welcome back, student. Today we are going to start the unit three. First topic in the unit three is properties of CFL, context-free language. And in the last class, we have seen the PDA pushed on automation, uh, pushed on automation. Some of the example we did in the previous classes. Okay. So in the third unit, we have the properties of CFL. Okay. And we will see what are the properties of CFL, and we will see what is a closed property and what is not closed property of CFL. Okay. So here we have the five properties. Properties of context-free language is first one is union, concatenation, star, intersection, and complementation. Complement. So this is phi are there, and as I told you, close properties and not close properties. These three are the close properties, and these two are not close. Not close properties. Okay, so. We will see one by one, union, concatenation, star, intersection, and complement, complementation or complement. Okay. So first one, we will see the union property. What is in the union property is, union as you know, uh, it will be union of two languages, like context-free language are closed under union. As I told you, this is closed. How? So here, L1 is one type of uh, language, L2 is another language. L1 and L2, when you mix together, then you can write union as L1 union L2. What usually do in the union, we will do all the things, whatever it is present in the L1 and L2, we will combine them, okay, is a context free. Okay, it is a context free. Let us see here some example. Like here, okay, here it is a grammar and here, sorry, here language and here is grammar. Okay, what is L1? L1 A power N B power N. Whenever we have like this, what is this? This is even number of, even number of a's and b's okay so here this for this it's written the grammar s1 a s1 b okay and the left side and the right side we will get the equal number of a's and b's whenever we write this we already saw in the previous classes and we did the practice for this also and this is a lambda lambda or epsilon okay lambda or epsilon same thing next another language i have l2 that is w w to the power of r s2 a s2 a and b s2 b and epsilon okay what is this w w r this is is palindrome we already did this palindrome palindrome d r o m e palindrome language and we make the grammar in the palindrome palindrome what is palindrome like a a b b a a so this is if you read from here it will be the same if you read from here it will same like a a b b a a from the left to right and from the right to left a a b b a a so this kind of uh, string called the palindrome okay that string called the palindrome so for pa palindrome and even number of a's and b's so here when we combine this l1 l2 okay L1, L2, S is S1, S2. 
okay, S1 is this grammar and S2 is this grammar. So here, based on the language, we, we write the equivalence of the grammar and that grammar we are combining means union, we are doing the union, okay. You can see S1 union S2, any one of this, okay. So here we are doing the union. So this is the example of union, okay. What in the general form, like here, for uh, context free language is L1 and L2 with context free grammar G1 and G2 and start variable is S1, S2, S1, S2, whatever is the previous one here, whatever we have taken, what is L1, L2 is a language and what is G1 and G2 is a grammar and what is this S1 and S2 is a start variable or we can say start non-terminal. Okay, non-terminal is also known as variable and you know what is non-terminal. Non-terminal means you can do further, you can do some operation after that, but in the terminal that will end the grammar, okay, it will end at the end of terminal. The grammar of the union, L1 union L2 has new start variable. What is the new start variable? S. And additional production is S is combining with S1 and S2, okay. Additional production we added and we mix this two in the S, okay. So this is about the union. I hope you understand this union, okay. Next. Next is concatenation. Next one is concatenation. What is in the concatenation? As I told you, this is also a closed property of CFL, okay. L1 is context free, L2 is a context free, then we will get the L1, L2 is a context free. In between you can write the dot or you simply you need to write L1, L2, okay. So this is about the concatenation. Let us see here. So here the language and here the grammar. L1 is a A power N, B power N. What is this? As I told you, this is even number of A's and B's. So we have written S1, A of S1, B and epsilon or lambda, okay. Equal number of A's and B's. And what is this WW? This is for the palindrome. This is for the palindrome. So what is this? S2, A of A, S2, A, B, S2, B and epsilon, okay. This and this is same. Lambda and epsilon is same. Uh, you should not get confused because of that I am writing there. Concatenation is L is equals to even number of A's and B's and palindrome. So what is this? S is a S1, S2, S1, S2. Next. So here, in the previous example, what we have taken? We have taken L1, L2, G1, G2, S1, S2. Okay, what is L1? L1, L2 is a language, context free language. G1, G2 is a grammar and start variable is S1, S2, okay. When we do the concatenation L1, L2 and what is the new state variable that is S and additional production, what is the additional production? We added S, S1, S2, okay. So this is about the, this is about the concatenation, okay. We finished two, union and concatenation. We will move to the next one, that is star operation, okay, star operation. This is also a closed 
star operation l is a context free and how it will represent as l star operation star closure okay we can say star closure also let's see here what is this example first it is taken the example l is equals to a power n b power n okay so this is equal number of a's and b's s is a as b so with this grammar we can generate the equal number of a's and b's okay star operation to the same language what is the same language a power n b power n closure what does it mean equal number of a's for number of times for that we have taken the new state s1 and s this s1 this one okay and epsilon so this is about the star operation and what is the thing we have taken here in the language just we have only one language here only we have the one language and context free grammar is g only we have one grammar and start variable is s okay start variable is s here but here the grammar of the star operation is l star okay l star here in the down has new state variable is s1 this s1 new state and additional production is s1 and we have added this s here s1 lambda or epsilon so this is about the star and what is this star also is a close so three are the close properties first one is a union second one is a concatenation and third one is a star next negative properties of context free language that means it is not close to the it is not close to the context free language so what is this context free language are not closed intersection what is intersection when we do this l1 l2 in the intersection l1 l2 okay so l1 intersection l2 not that necessary in the context free language let's see the example here we have the l1 a power n b power n and c power m this is one language l2 is a power n b power m c power m this is another language you can see here two n are there and here two m's okay let's come down and what is the context free grammar for this s a c okay a small a capital a and b epsilon and c is small c capital c so what it is telling it is not telling anything here at the greater than uh, zero or uh, uh, m okay so with the help of this we can make the grammar for here a small a capital a and b equal number of a's and b's can be write, written like this and the c is any number of time how many time do you want you can take it with the help of this c next one here a power n b power m and c power m here this is a equal number of b's and c's because of that we have written here equal number of b's and c's here okay and a is n any number of time that based on you you can take it and this two is added here a b okay now c is there any possibility for given this l1 intersection l2 a power n b power n c power n so this will be not context free grammar intersection is not possible okay so this is not a closed property of cfl 
okay so this is the sum of the example of the intersection clear next next one is a complement complement is also not a closed property why l1 is context free l1 not not necessary context free means whatever the l will be there that will be changed to l dash that will be changed to l dash <coughs> let's see here l1 a power n b power n and c power m the same example the previous one one language the another language is l2 a power n b power n and c power m the same thing a and b's are equal number of a's and b's and c is separate that is m and here b and c's are equal number of b's and c okay and a is a separate s is a b and what is the complement for this l1 union l2 l1 dash complement l2 dash complement so the whole complement is also there when it is like this then it will change to l1 intersection l2 as previous just now we saw intersection is not closed property of cfl so a power n b power n and c power n so this is about the complement okay this is about the complement so today i am going to stop here so what we have uh, studied today today we saw union concatenation and we saw the star property and we saw the intersection and complement okay in the next class we will see the c and f okay fine thank you very much we'll see you in the next class